Um, so yeah, Three of Cups too. Oh, and as I shuffle the cards, I would much appreciate for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And uh, we do have the Three of Cups and the Two of Swords. We have in two minds about a reconciliation. It's kind of a question, do we want them back? No, we don't. Should we want them back? Maybe. We don't know, right? Blindfolded, not having all the information, Eight of Pentacles, but willing to put the work in. Let's see what else is there. Two of Swords and the world in two minds about descending, blindfolded about descending. We don't know why. Might be the distance, might be the ghosting. <coughs> Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment combined with the Two of Swords. We want and need our desires to be met. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords. Together is it. Is a two of swords, kind of like the universe saying it was a royal mess, right? And a lot of pain and mental prison and mental conflict and truth, the judgment came out. Um, and of course, we want to know the truth, right? When we see Major Arcana, we know it's about um, important events that we, you know, the universe is uh, giving us to grow. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the star. It might be an Aquarius Virgo that you are dealing with. And um, it's kind of like um, the universe saying, uh, that is hope. I know you feel alone. We do have the hermit, which is Virgo energy too. But that is hope. In solitude, that is hope. And that's why we combine two decks. Because bottom of the deck, again, it's a double um, energy. A confirmation, right? That that is hope. In solitude, that is hope. In wisdom, that is hope. In a moment of silence, shining a light on a situation, that is hope. We see the situation for what this is. This is wish fulfillment also in Major Arcana, the star. And might be a very strong Aquarius in your energy right now. Now let's see. And we always start with past energies. You'll let me know if you resonate with. And then we go to current energies and the possible outcome. So we have your side, Virgo, on the left, on the right, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Current energies at this time, you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for the first week of November, but we know time is fluid. We know we are working with energies. And guess what? Six of Cups. You might um, want to look into your chart. Maybe you have Aquarius in important placements, in placements that, um, you know, concern love or your relationship with this person. We do have twice the star and the six of cups, which is the uh, soulmate card. Um, body, mind and um, soul kind of connection. But we also have with this deck memories of love. You think of them, they think of you, right? And you show up here so strongly as the overall energy. Um, so we're going the past. What happened? We do have the world and we do have the three of cups. Um, kind of like the universe saying, I had to put a stop on it because that was a third party situation. It was maybe too much partying, too much fun. Maybe somebody was serious about that serious. The other person was a little bit less in the universe. It's kind of telling you every time we see Major Arcana is the universe talking to us and kind of, you know, giving us the big lessons of, uh, of tarot and of life. And um, in your case with the world is, you know what? Um, that chapter, that, that type of um, end was uh, because of this, right? It was not serious. It was all um, kind of cheesy wheezy and um, it was not, um, you know, we were not building on on um, a solid type of ground. Now this person of yours, Three of Swords and Ace of Cups. It's interesting, right? Because um, it's kind of a double energy, one of hurt. Uh, so whatever happened between the two of you, it was equally hurtful to them. But in the same time, they had this offer or they've made this offer to somebody. It can also an offer that was made to you. But I kind of feel you had to embrace the ending and somebody here might have moved on. I would say quite quick, quickly, right? Uh, part hurt, but part with a new beginning here. Um, you know, uh, for some of you, it's simply, you know, the universe saying they, uh, 
they had real love for you. It was an ace of cups. It had potential. It might have uh, looked a little bit small, but in their heart they had feelings, right? And whatever happened hurt that um, those feelings, right? And we know what happened, right? Four of Swords, um, silence, no talking, and the High Priestess, silent treatment, the cold shoulder. Yeah, the intuitive and the awakening energies, but in the same time, these combined is more than crickets, right? It's um, kind of abandoned churches, right? Where we can only see the rats or something, we can hear them. Um, but um, again, Four of Swords, right? Um, the mind, your mind needed rest in the past, their mind needed rest. And um, probably watching, um, uh, we know the High Priestess is the energy of looking from the distance to the inquiring mind. Um, so they were curious about you, you were curious about them. But in the same time, it was a moment where um, you probably focused on yourself in the past and they, um, they did the same. I'm seeing a new beginning on their side and I'm seeing more like... Um, I don't know why I feel like a new welcoming uh, change, but probably that um, we'll see how this uh, fits, right? With the, with the entire energy here. Uh, so we're going where are we right now. We do have uh, the moon, Pisces energy, and we have um, the hermit, which is your energy. And I so love this, right? Because this is all about you being yourself. And yeah, having moments of anxiety and panic. Yes, have a moment, having moments of depression and um, overly emotional about this situation and feeling lost, right? And in the shadows. And I feel somebody is giving you the silent treatment. There, there are so many energies saying when it was over, you know, um, it was over. It was, um, you know, um, no communication whatsoever. So many energies of silence, you know. Um, silence and solitude, but in the same time, uh, um, a wise one, right? One that allows us to sit down for a minute and kind of understand what happened and um, and how we dealt with the situation and how uh, we managed to grow from it um, and survive. It has an energy of survival and it has, um, um, it has a strong energy of spirituality, probably somebody here really awakened in, in a way because we do have the star twice, which is alignment, spiritual alignment. We do have high priestess between the two of you. So, And we have the wisdom, right? Part past lessons, part spirituality, and we grow from it. Um, but we have moments, the moon moments can, can be Pisces, of course, but I'm in major arcana, by the way, twice, uh, two major for the current moment. But it has this energy of growing out of fear, uh, finding the wisdom in the darkest moment. Uh, we find the wisdom within. Uh, that's exactly the combination and the message for somebody. And if that's the work you're doing, you have to keep doing it because it's simply amazing. Yes, it has dark spots, but um, they are meant to be there and they are meant for your um, wisdom and development. And such a beautiful energy for you to show up as the overall and show up in the current moment, right? So. It's about getting your power back, getting your strength back, coming to center and being your first, um, <clears throat> your most um, um, higher self, right? Now, this person of yours, again, they are in new beginnings here. Ace of Cups in the past, Ace of Swords. Um, right now, triumphant success. Love begins, but I don't think this person is in a love connection just yet. Right now, they are contemplating new beginnings, but they are in the waiting game. And they are in two minds, and they are at crossroads. Um, it has a strong energy of still carrying uh, the Three of Swords energy, the burdens and the pain from whatever happened between the two of you. But they are closer to a new beginning at this point, and they are also acknowledging the crossroads. Um, the need to make a choice and the need, um, you know, to um, to move towards three of wands, four of wands, right? A, a little bit of um, ships coming home, looking for results, living with expectations and um, and manifesting. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, energy. Now, mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the four of pentacles and the four of cups a very, um, you know, dual kind of energy. One is holding on, one is um, discontent and boredom. 
forest for foundation so um, Virgo this connection was a very important one was important for you was important for them that was a bond body mind and soul that was a spiritual connection with this person so many energies speaking of this that is an energy of fear but at the end of the day for at the core of the reading we know we were building a foundation with this person it felt rock solid but then then it kind of we split and we moved into different energies and we embodied two different energies probably one very practical it might be you it's your pentacles your energy and this person might have moved into cups and a bit emotional and and then that's when um you know our energies together might have somehow clashed in a way um and i feel that I, because there is a lot of silent treatment in this energy and this is what we pulled from the past so i kind of feel that silence was needed as a form of um recovery you know and um and a form of uh, gaining strength to to come back and and share um uh, you know experiences and um and growth i do feel because we do have the overall energy six of cups we know it's about reconciliation it's about not letting go we have a couple of energies saying you still hold on to each other you are still in each other's energy um but there's also growth and um, moments of fear moments of clarity combined with moments of fear now let's see the um the possible outcome for you we do have the death um scorpio energy and we have the five of wands we have transformation, obstacles, and challenges. With the death card, the energy, the uh, it's kind of the message that somebody here is growing and transforming through a separation. And it might look challenging, right? It might look a little bit like difficulties and conflict, but at the end of the day, we are just um, growing and transforming at this time. You know, it's kind of like the exercise with a pearl, right? We know for a pearl to be born, um, it's, um, you know, it takes a lot of, uh, um, you know, brushing. And I feel that this is a very transformative kind of connection. And um, but it is challenging. It's not going, I'm not going to lie, right? It's, uh, it comes with um, uh, moments where we, um, we are pushed to grow and... Um, and learn something from it now this person of yours Virgo they absolutely want reconciliation we do have the Empress um, and we have the three of cups again we started with the three of cups in the past and now the um, the outcome on on their side is reconciliation abundance and love and mutual energies um, ace of swords combined with the seven of swords that is a desire to come together, but somebody is not talking. It's a, it's kind of a secret for now, um, and they might look deceptive. But at the end of the day, you both, both of you, you know what you want here. And when it comes to them, they want reconciliation. When it comes to you, you just want this uh, challenge uh, to end, right? With the death and the five of wands in your energy it's like please make it stop please make it over make it be over and three of cups we have so much love that this person wants and we have the ace of swords again if that is one message to to be taken away from this virgo is that this person wants and needs a new beginning okay wants and needs ace of cups ace of swords ace of swords knows about end of reconciliation it was a very uh, and whatever happened made them um i would say the energy and the desire to start over they want to start over if that is one message for them on your side we see you growing we see you ending third party situation we have you being focused on yourself and and, and dealing with whatever shadows you have at this time and you come from a place of uh, strength and authenticity and yeah going through challenges it's part of life but for them is pretty pretty clear now uh Virgo, let's ask for some guidance no that's my i don't think that is a message it's just me and my hand <laughs> so let's um let's ask for some guidance the question is always the same should we say yay should we say nay 
we do have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so you and this person kind of acknowledging the universe acknowledging yeah we have feelings engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and we know this person i mean the empress is commitment the empress is family fertility ki children kids and wanting to have something way solid and reconciliation and i yeah this connection will be brought one step uh, at the time we do have express your love virgo go ahead and make the romantic gesture and bottom of the deck we have positive thinking and faith will bring you romance I kind of love this and we have the soulmate calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help you, help bring you together. I feel that you are guided towards this person, uh, Virgo. I do believe you are guided to take this connection to the next level. We have engagement, romantic feelings, express love. Um, stay optimistic and call your soulmate. Visualize and pray. Uh, they are the one for you, Virgo. This is what I'm hearing. But let's have some more. The silver waterfall, we know it's about transparency and self-protection, is about, yes, um, you know, putting a wall, but make it transparent and make it fluid, right? Don't make uh, like a permanent um, wall between you and this person. And we do have the garden again, self-protection, cultivating your inner, um, your inner self, your soul, um your inner child everything and speaking of inner inner child and we got to reparenting yourself i feel that when it comes to this connection virgo and i know the work is um the work is um in progress here but i feel that really you are guided to self-protection um to empower yourself to educate yourself in regards to something to train your mind Right? and also be the parent that you never had. Um, maybe we need to look into the type of connections we develop with people, and it's based on a very deep-rooted energy, the type of um, relationship your parents had, you had with them, and that is something that we need to learn. Now we have chivalry. I don't think you have to teach yourself new manners or new ways of doing things, but that is kind of a need here um to come from a place of kindness when it comes to this connection and also a place of um healed energies um virgo treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply so i feel somebody here is really guided um towards that energy now let's see what we need to put back into the flow and we do have surrender procrastination now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Um, this might be a connection, Virgo, where actually you are happy to end this connection. We have the world and the three of cups in the past. Maybe it's one of those um, types of energies where we um, kind of say, you know what, maybe it's not good for me. And this person really needs and wants a new beginning and the reconciliation. And the universe is saying, you know what? If you express your love and you open up to this love and uh, you do the work of reparenting yourself, come from a place of kindness, surrender procrastination, this might be a good connection. We do have past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situation, situations or energy in order to transform your heart space and we do have transformation as the outcome of this so it's kind of one of those relationships that might make us work a little bit harder and transform and i feel that this might be well ownership that is something we need to uh, take responsibility about so you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons so we take ownership of what we've done. We do have surrender fear and we do have the moon as the current energy. So with your energy, so probably somebody here comes from a place of fear. And the universe Virgo is saying, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, 
focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward and guess what we need to spend time outside and it's the best way to ground ourselves and it's so your energy the pentacles and the mother earth right so take a relaxing break and spend time in nature replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there so we leave the past in the past if there is one message here um virgo we leave the past in the past we surrender procrastination and we take responsibility and we make the move uh whatever move you know you need to make right in regards to a connection that might have ended abruptly there is no communication between the two of you and this person loves you deeply and wants reconciliation let's have some general guidance clairsentience oh my god notice your recurrent uh sorry notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance what you feel is divine guidance right so you need to listen to your body physical and emotional feelings we do have care and compassion so the whole reading is about care towards you and compassion and responsibility towards the other person so choose to be love uh, Virgo choose to be love do what is right for everyone involved offer a helping hand and bottom of the deck emotional sensitivity we just um, heard the um, the clear sentience right what you feel is divine guidance Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. Um, so Virgo, I don't know how this applies to you. It looks like it's in your hands. It looks like you can do something about it. Um, and yes, they want reconciliation. Yes, they want twice the three of cups, six of cups. They absolutely long for you, uh, Virgo. They long for you. They wait for you. They are at crossroads and resisting any type of change at this time um so hey you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time love you take care bye